How's it going? I um, don't know if you guys know this or not, but your Tesla Model 3 or Model Y or any of your Teslas now have the option to where you can enter service mode on them. And I want to show kind of um, how you do that for one and what the difference is between a 2019 Model 3 and a 2023 Model Y that has the OptoFlow valve and the heat pump and everything like that that the Model 3 didn't have in 2019. So you will see some differences in the service menu or service mode and also um, all the things that you can do now with your own vehicle. You can download the or get access to the service manual and you can use that along with service mode to do maintenance on your own Tesla. So um, I thought it was pretty cool and hopefully you guys find it entertaining and if you do uh, leave a like and a subscribe and we'll uh, see you in the next one. So let's check something out here. Long press, get a password, type in service, service mode will be enabled, enable. All right, we are now in service mode. So, what we wanted to show here, got a thousand miles on this car. AMD Ryzen, all this. We're going to compare this to the Model 3. So, you got cameras here. Um, <clears throat> you can ping or reset the DAS. I don't know what that means. Connectivity. So it is showing our antennas here, primary, a secondary antenna, modem, and all of this stuff. Charging. So we do currently have it plugged up to the charger, 240 volt. We're getting about 32 amps, a single phase. Um, cable state is connected. Latch state is engaged. The back cover present. UHF button press detected so that must be when you push the button on the on the charger itself BMS you got minimum temperature max temperature of 40 degrees C during this charging uh, what else high voltage system so right now we're at 61 percent we can run a health test I think I'm gonna run a health test on this car and compare it to my other car um, Here's the internal uh, resistance and then the external resistance, I guess. Um, power distribution. Wow. State of charge 78%. I'm not sure I understand that. Oh, so the LV battery that I have up front is currently at 78% and it's reading about... 15.6 volts so that's the 12 volt battery um i don't know if it's lithium on this car it's a good question i think they started producing lithium so you can reconnect lv bat reset vc front uh clear post crash load shed um high voltage battery so lv is low voltage by the way 65.7 percent yeah yep yeah. let's see Home link, all right, don't have that. Thermals, coolant, not ready for draining. And test the HVAC, test thermal performance. Sensors, so um, run heat pump commissioning. So we currently, if we turn the air on, ah, it all cuts on. Compressor is running it. 500 rpms it's got a heat pump so this is what this all looks like um pretty cool it's telling you the coolant pressures and the temperatures at your different locations refrigerant oh wow isn't that so cool right there you got the hot coming out of that compressor discharge and then you got your suction here run into your compressor which is at uh, 14 degrees C versus the discharge of 54, removing all the heat from it before it blows it into the car. HVAC case. 
and that's the, kind of the schematic. That's the temperature of the actual co liquid cooling. And then coolant system. And you can see here we have the octo valve. Oh, with the radiator, got the pumps, PT loop. Uh, wow, you can fill or drain, pump identification. So pump identification, I wonder what that is. Interesting. Wow. Uh, alignment and tires. So right now, the wheel is locked because I don't have it in drive. But if I turn it to the right, that supposedly is completely zeroed. It does not it has a zero percent offset applied. Obviously, my car is not sitting straight centered, so I would not want to calibrate it or anything. But I guess that's so that you can set an offset. And then windows. No oh, front, right front window, switch state unavailable switch pack state unavailable I'm not sure what that is wiper replacement calibrate windows really interesting stuff here cameras uh, yeah service alerts software reinstall brake burnishing touch check Wow. Oh, wow. It's a check for dead pixels. How about that? Okay, so that's pretty cool. Let's exit the um, service mode. Let's go check it out on my car. Okay, so I clearly uh, forgot to do this the other day. Or I, I forgot to click... Uh, play or chart records so this is going to be service mode for my car we're going to enable it real quick and um as you can tell already the service mode is much slower in this car since it doesn't have the amd stuff gives you all your information here service alerts it tells you your cameras and how they are doing. Here's your sensors. So um, everything here, where your antennas are and everything like that. Connectivity. Sorry, this is actually where your antennas. You can see our antennas are in the mirrors for the 2019 Model 3. And then we go to our charging station. It tells us everything about it. The BMS, um, high voltage, the latching. Let's see, we'll go to high voltage system. Right now, battery's pretty low, or at 33%. It's telling you about um, the state of charge. You can do a battery health test on this, which we're going to do eventually. You got the power distribution. So here we've got 13.5 volts on my low voltage battery, which is showing it as yellow, which is interesting. I don't know if that means that it's getting low. Um, it's a really good question. I don't I don't know that. Uh, high voltage battery. Uh, let's see. State of charge is 39.8% is what that says. It's BMS drive. Although we're at 33. But um, I'll go to the thermals. So what you can see here is that there is no um, flowy diagram like there is on the 2023 Model Y. Um, so I guess this is a function of this car having an older system. Um, you can still perform all your maintenance things here. So these are actually maintenance things that you might actually use. Um, you know, thermal drains, HVAC. Uh, you can test the thermal per performance. So I, I want to actually go in and read um, the maintenance manu service manual before doing any of this stuff. I do have that. Let's see. 
you got your alignment and tires similar to that so you can make your adjustments here um, it also tells you the tire pressure since I've been driving the other one would do the same thing um, you can offset calibrate it or whatever uh, let's see what else do we have then you got windows and so it's moving down partially open so that's how it tells you that your car windows are down and nose partially down moving down fully open so it lets you know so what this is doing here is that's actually because it's the driver switch uh, real quick yeah you see that I'm pulling on the passenger switch now so that's how it's doing switch state that's depending on the location uh, rear defrost um, is available it says you can enable rear defrost um, gateway unlock required uh, wiper replacement calibrate windows and that's it and then it gives you all your information here Intel Adam we're gonna hide that service alerts there are no active alerts okay there is um, the touch check okay software reinstall that's kind of neat braking burnishing we don't actually want to do that so we're gonna go back additional resources ah test the service subscription all right that's it that's the differences so um Tell me what you think, and if you've seen any difference between a 2019, a 2018, maybe a Model S service, but difference between 2019 and 2023, you've seen it here. So, uh, like, subscribe if you en if you um, enjoyed the video. It's free to you. Um, it also lets you know when I create new videos. 